protect and defend the Constitution of the United, the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Absolutely. Can you live well if other people can legally gang up on you and forcefully take your money? No, of course not. Uh, you can't do it in a society that imposes confiscatory taxation. You can't do it in a society that over-regulates business. And that's what we have right now. The reason so many businesses have moved overseas is because of excessive taxation and excessive regulation. If you lower the taxes and you lower the regulation, uh, then you're going to find more of them returning here and contributing to the tax base and the employment picture. Should the government redistribute its citizens' wealth by forcefully taking money from some citizens through taxes in order to provide goods and services for others? No, but I think there needs to be a safety net. But there's a difference between a safety net and a hammock. We've created a hammock in America where anybody who doesn't want to work and is, is able-bodied can count on getting a government check. Stephen Moore wrote recently in the Wall Street Journal that more than half the country, for the first time in American history, more than half the country is working in some capacity for government at federal, state, or local. So you've got more than half the country now who are not producing goods and services that anybody wants, and sooner or later, this produces an enormous reliance on borrowing, as we're doing from China, in order to keep up with all the wants and desires of the people who aren't producing anything that anybody wants. That's crazy. That's suicide. So the government, in your view, <coughs> should redistribute some wealth, but not too much. Is that your view? Well, I don't know. You know, redistribute. I don't, that I don't like the word. That means some... I know what it means, oh, okay. I, I, but I don't, I'm not comfortable with the word because it reminds me of what Obama wants to do. I think there is a role for government in a compassionate society for those who have fallen through the cracks, uh, for those who are wounded in war. Uh, that's why we have veterans' hospitals. For those who are legitimately poor through no fault of their own, I want to help the poor become unpoor. I don't want to sustain them in their poverty like many liberal programs do. But I, So I think that in a compassionate society where all other things fail or fail to reach people in need, I think that the government can have a limited and uh, a role. So you think, I'm trying to understand your view, you think that the government should redistribute some wealth in some cases, but not a lot, not wholesale, like they're doing now. Is that your view? Well, again, we're always going to have taxation. Yes, some but form. do you distinguish between taxing somebody to provide them a service, like protecting their individual rights, like you mentioned them, what the Declaration of Independence says, on the one hand, and taxing them in order to give goods and services to other people? Is there a difference between those two, a fundamental difference? Well, look, let me try to restate it. I think that in a free society, government has a role in helping people who want to be helped. Now, my approach would be that for the able-bodied, I want to help them get out of poverty. And if that requires a minimal time of daycare for their children, if it requires some money to help them get an education so that they can be self-sustaining, I'm willing to do that. But the objective is always to make them self-sustaining, to get them out of their poverty, get them out of their dependence upon government so that they can be free and paying taxes and earning their own income rather than relying on the government to give them somebody else's money. So I'm trying to understand. I can't, I can't explain any better than that. I'm not oh. going to do it any more than that. Oh, okay. I've said it three times, so if you don't okay. get it, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Do you think it's morally wrong to initiate physical force against someone who hasn't violated anybody's rights? What? I can't hear you. Do you think it's morally wrong to initiate physical force against someone who hasn't violated anybody's rights? Is it morally wrong? I, I, don't, I, I don't understand where you're heading. What, what is, give me a context here. What do you mean? Well, in, in any context, is it morally wrong to initiate physical force against someone who hasn't violated anybody's rights. I think that's too ethereal for me. I never, I never uh, studied philosophy in college, so uh, I'm gonna have to pass on that one. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm talking about using force against another person to make them act against their judgment, even though they haven't violated anybody's rights. Well, give me an example. What are we talking about? Well, uh, the classical example would be an armed robber who uh, comes and says, uh, your money or your, or your wallet. Yeah, well, I would certainly. Uh, your wallet or your life. Yeah, right. I would. Uh, I would certainly exert 
physical force to keep that person from okay, that would robbing be morally, or shooting me. That would be morally wrong. Absolutely. Would it be morally wrong if the government force you to pay taxes in order to provide charity for some person or charity for another person well, problem, or foreign yeah. aid or farm subsidies well, look, or whatever. As my friend Bob Beckel says, he didn't like the fact that we were uh, paying money for the Iraq war. But in a, in a society that taxes everybody to do various things, we have a way to stop things we don't like and to start things we do like. It's called the ballot box. And so we vote for people who represent our views, who we want to uh, do certain things in and for government and through government. Well, previously, you had said that the government should protect all peaceful citizens against people that want to use force to take your money. But I, now I understand that in some cases you think it's okay for these people to organize, pass a law, and require another group to pay them money. I, I don't know. I really don't know what you're talking about. Well, I, you know, you no, obviously, subsidies. you have an agenda that you're leading no. me toward, and I really don't want to go there. So let's let's well, just. What's I, your I, view I, don't on know what I don't feel well, and I've got a cold. And I thought this was going to be a brief interview.